Hi guys, what we're looking at here is one of my old charity shop finds. 2015 I found this one. Cost me £1.50 in a charity shop. And it's a, well it is THE amazing clock kit. Build your own real wind up clock. The Happy Puzzle Company. And it does do what it says on the box. You put the bits together and you've got a working clock. Now, unfortunately, like many of my charity shop finds, there's a few bits missing. There's enough there to get it working almost, except it's missing the pendulum. Now, I did make myself one out of a bit of plywood, and then later I changed it to a bit of plastic. So that's all you actually need for the uh, pendulum, which hangs out the back. Um, and it works and I'll put a link in the video description to the video where I put it together back in 2015 got the full instructions with it which is always handy there's the pendulum it's adjustable in length as well so you can adjust the timing anyway as luck would have it uh, I think it was last year it might have been I found another one in a different charity shop that was complete and I kept it for a little while but then decided I didn't need two so I gave it away again but before I gave it away I did draw around the pendulum and also the little hammer thing that makes the bell ring because that's missing as well and now I have a 3D printer don't I? So, I've 3D printed a replacement. Now I've had to guess a bit, because although I drew around it, I didn't make a note of how thick it was, or how heavy it was. So I think I've actually made this too heavy. Uh, I don't know whether the dimensions will be perfect, because I've worked off my where well, I've just drawn around it. But we'll give it a try. And the worst case scenario is I can adjust it and print it again, which is the curse of the 3D printer. You can keep doing it. You can waste so much of this filament just redoing minor little changes anyway let's see if we can put it together and see if those bits might fit I'll probably have to trim them out a little bit whether the holes are the right size so Goes on there. Okay, uh, right, that piece is going to go in there with right. I've printed off a few more bits, modified them slightly. Let's see if these will do what we want.
that quite a bit lighter. I still think it's going to be too big. But we'll see. Right, I've made some little caps to go on bits in there, and those holes look too small. They're the correct size according to the program, but once it's printed them, they seem to shrink a bit. It's supposed to be tight, but it's a bit too tight. Still too tight, gonna have to drill it out. Tighter. modify that again. Looks like it needs a bush to push it out a little bit from the back there to keep it away from that gear. Well we'll look at that later. Uh, right that's on, that's on. Well, did anybody notice my deliberate mistake? I've got the black gear in backwards. It wasn't making contact with all this slot round this side. So even though the timing mechanism was working, it wasn't connected to the handles. I thought it was funny when I was turning the handles round, they weren't meeting any resistance. And that was the reason why. <laughs> they weren't connected. So I've just had to take it apart again. And that was why the that thing was fouling on the black gear earlier, that hammer, because the black gear was at the back instead of at the front. Probably can't see any of that, but uh, that's what the problem was. So as usual, even though I followed the instructions, I wasn't following them properly. 
and I got it wrong again. So, and there is also a tooth missing on that black gear, so I may yet still have to do a tear down and a bit of printing to replace that black gear. Yeah, so we're back. The gears are in the right place now. So the handles, uh, handles, the hands should turn. So I'll leave it over there and check it in an hour's time and see how far out it is. Then I can tell whether I've got to move the pendulum in or out to speed it up or slow it down. I won't do any more video on this tonight, but I have just set it right. The time is right, according to that clock up there. So I'll have a look later on tonight and see whether it's gaining or losing. It does sound a little bit fast to me. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there and you might like subscribe over there